Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to the fifth War of Season 39 and this time Jedi Assassins we are facing Matrix uh, for the very first time on this season and yeah, uh, this time we are gonna be using Kimping Trinity for the entire war once again so on the first fight on this pad 9 we have to face this Arcus Arcus can be really really annoying uh, champion on this specific fight and on the mini boss 21 because of the extra damage from the fury so uh, when you get any debuff on you you're gonna be uh, getting more damage than usual and also if he applies cold snap on you you will also get a lot of damage back so the main goal uh, see yeah yeah the main goal here was uh, to use uh, sp1 to apply dm if they if i get uh, somehow uh, any lock on this fight and yeah uh, we we ended up applying one and then we tried again when we were charging or overpower so trying to use my special one when i don't have any rage on me that way he doesn't glance anything and yeah we we, we did really good on <laughs> even if we g we got hit uh, uh, on this uh, on this fight i had invulnerability boost on in case he didn't throw any special uh, anyway it was a really uh, um, safe fight i'd say uh, even though kimping doesn't benefit from global attack he's really good for this uh, specific uh, path right so on the second fight we had to do it was a gala okay so i was really surprised that i got a lot of damage uh, here because i forgot uh, somehow uh, I, I don't know if someone can explain me this but he was getting harvest every single time he was using sp1 i was like no way no way I think I'm gonna die here <laughs> because with two special ones I got 30% damage. Uh, luckily I, I had Vigen on him active when I got this third time so I didn't get that much of damage back but yeah it was painful like <laughs> my stash really hurt me because I ended up using some health potions um yeah anyway we did uh, the fight we did we did a solo and this time we had to take down terrax on the node 22 um, on this on this fight uh keeping can be really good however look at that at the very start of the fight i made a mistake i ended up throwing a heavy attack so i ended up getting hit uh, just by starting and yeah i didn't i didn't think i needed uh, invulnerability boost or sp1 boost and so i ended up using region boost in case i was getting too many too much damage from the uh, rock field ability from terrax so on this fight um, my strategy was to build again sp1 try to use it when my overpower is active and i don't have any rage on me and obviously try to make uh, terrax lose his ability from rockfield that way i doesn't get um, any damage back for, because even though if i end up um, purifying the armor breaks here i will get damage just like colossus uh, when using him so yeah look at that i ended up getting the overpower just in time i used my sp1 so the fight was a bit under control at this point uh, after losing almost half of my hp so another sp1 i i got the dgen on him so his dgen uh, the good thing when using uh, sp1 with kimping and applying the DGN is not only the damage you do with the with the debuff on him, but also the ability accuracy is reduced. So that's why uh, Kimping is one of the best options to, at least for this season, if, uh, uh, attacking global defensive champ champions. Even even if he gets too many rage, and his uh, hits are glancing, he's still really really good. So um, after 
making those mistakes at the start of the fight, uh, I ended up uh, pulling it off. And yeah, we did it great after <laughs> that single mistake I did. And yeah, we finished that fight with half HP, so I had to heal again. Uh, that's the issue when using Kimpin. If you end up uh, screwing your fight or doing bad, uh, your stash will be hard. Like <laughs> he he drains your health potions really quick. So on this fight on uh, 26, uh, you guys saw that I did already this fight uh, before on the previous wars. So this time uh, the difference was that I didn't have a resonate mastery on. So it's gonna be a bit easier to control the fight. So um, I'm trying to use heavy attacks when he has power lock on. That way, if he end up um, nullifying my ability, uh, he's not gonna get any MD back, any power from MD, uh, Mystic Dispersion, any anything. And yeah, uh, and it's a must. Like when fighting Rintra, you have to knock him down if, um, with a heavy attack or with a special, but you have to uh, take him below 10 charges, okay? Because if you don't, he if he, if he gets corner, uh, there's a chance that he's gonna be unstoppable. Uh, well, not not a chance. It's 100% <laughs> chance that he's gonna get uh, un unstoppable after 10 buff failed. Okay, so this time I'm doing really better. Like uh, one minute and a half, and he's already down. 50% so yeah the difference uh, was huge like <laughs> uh, with with uh, the resonate mastery it was really really harder uh, but this time uh, I'm I'm doing really good he's not uh, doing that many specials three uh, at the moment I haven't gotten any uh, I also use invulnerability boost just in case and here I was like okay I can't tank an sp3 he's almost dead i'm not gonna get any damage because of the boost so yeah it it also gonna be good because i'm gonna have uh, a bit much more of power uh, i'm cornered but it, since he didn't have that many churches he didn't root me or anything so yeah we ended the fight um really quick uh, uh, re way way different than the first time we did so yeah, on the second section, we had to do pad 9 again. So on this fight, we had to face Wong. Wong on the node 1i open. So the strategy here is, again, the same as fighting any Mystic Champion. Uh, the benefits here from for, for Kimping are that since I have Kimping Trinity, I have Mr. Sinister Synergy. Uh, it's really really easy to control uh, the fight because um, every time they use specials they gonna be power locked so it's like using magic imagine sure. it's really good did you see after using that sp2 he's not gonna get any power so yeah um i got hit uh, a lot of times here <laughs> but uh, kimpin is is a tank like he's he's so good man so so good so i just waited here to dj and kill him um with the debuff and that's it uh, it was really easy as long as you don't parry here you are fine so on the next fight i i had an apocalypse so i didn't um, i didn't do that fight uh, even though kimping can do it it's a bit risky so i always try to make the fight as safe as possible so a scroll here um, it wasn't my fight mainly, but uh, since I had Kimping Trinity, I was like, okay, he can throw a special one, and every time he uses a special, he's gonna be power locked. So I don't really have uh, any issue here because I can control the fight really easy. Because since Super Skrull has a lot of buffs here, buff, he's gonna get uh, power for uh, the entire fight. But 
since I have Mr. Sinister Synergy, he's gonna be power lock, so I can control the fight, I can reduce his ability accuracy by just spamming SP1, and yeah, it's, it's a really safe fight, I can also... Uh, purify the falter he activates um, on on the enemy and sometimes he gets the sp2 but i do, i have no issue since Vigen is active on him I, i'm not gonna get that much of damage back uh, from from any hit uh, even if i'm blocking or not because this node also has a side reach get richer it also has a aspect of evolution so the longer the fight gets the harder it is so yeah we did the fight uh, less than two minutes i didn't lose that that much of of health and now we have to take down cersei so this cersei look at this guys um i made a huge mistake if i had known like i i know but i forgot but since i forgot i wish i had used kimping here because kimping can also do cersei here it just takes like three minutes to take her down but to be honest we weren't worried about fight time we knew that the matrix wouldn't be as fast as us so i could i could do it with kimping but yeah i went with the with what i did on the assignments i assigned uh, the hood here and um, yeah i think it was a mistake because i didn't pay paid attention on the hexes so i ended up losing a lot of hexes here and yeah it the screen uh, it it was a, a big mistake you you uh, you guys gonna see on the next fight because i have to take down the boss right so 30 charges i use my sp2 and look at that finish yeah i did really well against this rc however i just had nine charge left so when i was when i used that uh, sp1 boost i was like okay why do i have nine charges here that caught, caught me off guard and i forgot <laughs> null was unblockable here so the fight started really bad like look at that i'm getting hit every single time i lost my detox charges because i i i got hit and i and he applied another debuff so luckily i got um the immunity right when i was at the corner i i had to uh, decks like quake so yeah right now i was like okay i'm half of my hp now but i have the fight controlled i got 10 hexes charges back so i was like okay i can still do it but yeah it wasn't a good fight since the start i i I wasn't really big focus here. Anyway, uh, I got the invisibility again, trying to get as much as charges I can back, so I can deal more damage to Null. Uh, right now, right now we have 23 active on him, uh, trying to uh, get some miss on him. That way I can get more charges back. So we are back at 10, and he had, he has almost 32 churches and this is the problem guys look at that i forgot i had to block the hit so he applied five armor breaks on me and my hexes chairs um yeah they detonated because i didn't i didn't apply any any new hit on him so uh, since my hits were glancing i didn't get any any back right so i got corner here i was like okay i'm done rip did you guys expect <laughs> to a uh, hood die here <laughs> i really didn't i really didn't i was like no way man no way i died here no way yeah it was a really 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 bad fight for me i didn't play well um, yeah, and this is my third null, I believe, that I do. And the other two that I did, it was really easy. Like, I had no issues, but mistakes were made. And I was like, okay, so this time 
Yes, I have. I, I am aware <laughs> that I have to evade six times. Uh, this time I'm like, okay, I, I should have done that since the last fight, right? So I got the immunity here and now I'm able to block any hit and start building my hexes on him. And yeah, I was like, no way, man. No way he died. Uh, no way I died. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, wh what else can, can I do, no? But apologize for to my alliance because this death was the third death on my bar group. At this point, we were losing, losing one to three. Okay, no, 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 zero to three. But they have, they didn't move yet. So I was like really worried. And then before I went to sleep, we were losing one to six. I was like, okay, the war is over. But, but when I woke up, <laughs> I saw that we were five to six. We were still losing so, somehow, but at the end, they, I, I, when they did the next two fights, I believe, no, we were losing four to six. Then a guy was fighting on the path A on section two and he died against my Moyo and then to Agor. And I was like, no way, the war was tight. And with a tie, we win. So, yeah, they ended up giving two more deaths on boss. And, yeah, guys, uh, it was a really, really awful war for me. Well, awful war for me uh, just on the boss fight. Because of on the other fights, I, I, I think I really did really great. And, yeah, guys, um, this war we're going to be facing GT40. So, it's going to be a really hard war to take the win. You know, you guys know they are amazing. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.